Hello everyone, this is Sumerian, and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the new options available with uh, some of the generators in Disney Infinity 3.0. When I say generators, I, I mean there are some new ones with the enemy wave generator, friendly wave generator, but I mean more along the lines of the two specifically that are really powerful now. It's the friendly generator, and I already put down a vehicle generator because it can be a pain to find in the list on occasion. So we're going to put down a friend generator and we've already got a vehicle generator. We're going to drop down a locator just to help us out here. And we'll put a button down just to spawn things. So let's hook up that locator to the friend generator and use the same locator for the vehicle generator. Now, the beautiful thing you can now do with some of these generators is, for example, the friend generator. Under properties, you can now set a behavior that any uh, town person that they generate will automatically be set to this behavior. Um, we're going to set angry, because why not? And let's set this up so that if I press the button, I'm going to generate... Yeah, let's do Merlin. But that's not all you can do with it. You can now do some pretty interesting inputs and outputs to it. So, we're going to use a couple of the new toys here, and one of the old toys. We're going to use a dynamic trigger. And we're going to use a text creator. And we're going to use a new radar marker. Now, we can set it up so if we do a new actor connection with these toys, we can hook them straight up to this generator, and then anything it generates will instantly have the same connection, which we could not do in 2.0. This is actually a very incredible new system. So as you see, I'm using the new actor connection from all three of these tools and hooking them up here. So, on the radar marker, blue question, or exclamation mark works for me, and connected actor. And I'm going to want that radar thing to turn on, so I'm going to set it up so as soon as someone's generated, let's activate the radar marker. Now the dynamic trigger, we're going to make a smaller trigger distance, and we're going to say it's based on the connected actor. And you'll see that once we spawn someone, the dynamic trigger will be around the townsperson that we've generated, which is also pretty incredible. And we'll say if the trigger is entered by any player, let's display text one. And on the text creator here, we want to say Textile is connected actor. And text on line one, let's just say hi. So, if I push this button, it should spawn Merlin over on that locator. Uh, and there should be a blue exclamation mark on his head. Then when I walk near him, he should be a dynamic trigger. And as soon as I walk close enough, the word hi should appear above his head. And he's not even on the screen yet, and everything's already been programmed, because I can now program things directly into this generator. So I'll push the button, and we spawn a Merlin there. He's jumping up and down. Oh, he's angry, that's what he is. So he's standing there being all angry and stuff. And I'll come near him, and he says hi. He knows he is the dynamic trigger, which is pretty incredible. And there's one other pretty awesome thing here, is that we can also send inputs to that friend generator. So when text line finishes, once he stops saying hi, down at the bottom here, we're going to find generated friend options. And this is exactly what we used to be able to hook up to a townsperson. So I'm going to say play once. laugh, and then you're free to go on your merry way. 
So now if I approach him, he should say hi. And after the hi goes away, he should laugh. And then, because I only said play once, he will probably wander off. Let's see here. He says hi. Is that a laugh? I think there was a laugh in there. Eh, it could just be because he's angry. Or it could be because this happened after that's the locator, isn't it? Okay. Alright. It could be because I programmed that in after I generated him. So let's try now. I approach him, he says hi. And there he goes, now he's laughing. It's because I hadn't I had programmed that after I had generated him, so he, this town person hadn't known that he was supposed to do the laugh thing next. So you can program in inputs, outputs, all sorts of things that will affect whatever town person that this generator creates, which is pretty incredible. Now, we can do a lot with a vehicle now, too. Um, so for the vehicle, let's do something a little different here. I'm going to put a path creator right here, and it's basically going to go up. Like that. Now, we can hook the vehicle generator to this path tool so that anything it generates is attached to this toy box path. And on this path, I'm actually going to turn off the auto start so it won't just go. And what should I spawn? Let's spawn. Let's spawn an X Wing. Now, the beautiful thing is, I can, using this vehicle generator, I can go down to Generated Vehicle Options, and I can program out all the outputs that I could off a regular vehicle. So if it's entered, if it's exited, if it's boosted, or if it completes a trick. So I can say, when the vehicle you spawned is entered, then reset and play on this path. So it's going to sit here until someone gets in, and then it'll go along this path. Well, let's give that a try. And of course, it's facing that way. I'm going to hop in. And because I hopped in, it's now flying along that path. Let's fix this up a little bit. Now, because I've hooked it up to the path, I can then say orient along path, so it'll go the right way. And I also want to do a new logic connection of uh, generated vehicle option so that when I exit, we're going to bring the vehicle back to here and stop. Uh, let's make this look a little prettier. Run that that way. Give me two seconds here. Just double checking something. Right, there's no extra inputs you can send out, but you can say uh, track things like if the vehicle you've generated is entered or exited or tricked or things like that. So let's hop in and I'm going to start up this path. And if I hop out the vehicle, has gone back to the front of the path. Hop in, it's going to start up the path again. Hop out, it's back to the beginning. So you can actually program in uh, on the generators all the options you used to have to drop a vehicle or a townsperson into the actual toy box just to program these things into them. You can now program them into their uh, associated generator 
and it's just absolutely incredible that you can do that now. It makes things a lot more versatile, and it makes it so that you can actually program your toy box a whole lot better because you don't have to leave them sitting around in your toy box if you don't need them out yet. So this is Sumerian again, and this has been a tutorial on the new generator options in 3.0, and I hope they've been helpful to you, and have yourselves all a wonderful day.